those iconic words already said by umpire. I think it's Richard Phelps I can hear there that will be umpiring this race. And you'll hear the, uh, when I see, you know, we've just heard when I see, see your straight and ready. Attention. I will start you like this. Attention, go. go! And we are underway here in this semi-final of the Visitors Challenge Cup. Oxford Brooks University on the left-hand side of your screen and Molsey Boat Club and inverted commas, University of Bristol uh, on the right-hand side of your screen. And a great uh, start here for both these crews. Molsey, it is like, difficult to steer on that buck station through the island. Yeah, it really is. You have uh, you have the island right there, and you know it's always tough. I've seen it. I've seen crews go over too much into the booms, trying not to get into the center of the course. Uh, but you want to be enough in the center of the course so that you aren't too tight to the island. And it's a really difficult thing when you're both to do when you're both rowing and steering. Yeah, Molsey will uh, just try and settle into that now as they've navigated that extremely well. Uh, off the end of the island, huge shout there for Isaac Werman as they move through the course in this Visitors Challenge Cup event. Molsey Boat Club here facing up against Oxford Brooks University in the Visitors at Challenge Cup and it's been a uh, lead taken here by Oxford Brooks in the early stages but Molsey Boat Club are not letting them go away. They put a pin in them and they're keeping them to half a length. Yeah, that's really important to do when a crew gets out on you is to, as soon as, you pos as soon as possible, try to halt that move and then wait a little bit maybe and then try to counter it. And so they doubt whether or not it was an effective thing to do. Well, Oxford Brooks won't like that, and uh, they'll try and shake that off. Lots of power in this crew from Oxford Brooks. Ben Hines, you can see just how tall he is, towering above the rest of his crew there in the two seat, just 22 years old, and uh, holder of the world best time at under 23 level in the Cox Four. So really used to rowing these boat types, which I think is, you know, uh, experience in spades can really help in, in this particular boat class. Yeah, and there's a wonderful shot of that Oxford Brooks crew. You can see Jonathan, you can see Jack Pryor, pardon me, uh, stroke seat of that boat. Just it's really setting a nice rhythm for the rest of the crew to follow. Yeah, all of this crew, Henley women at winners before, uh, Jack Pryor certainly very experienced here, leading out Jonathan Cameron, who uh, won the Fawley Challenge Cup, so sculling and quads back in 2016 for Claire's Court. And then in the bow pair, well, that's, uh, as we've already mentioned, Ben Hines, uh, Temple winner from 2022 and Toby Lassen also in that Temple winning crew for student eights and they've made that step up here to the intermediate category uh, for Oxford Brooks in this Visitors Challenge Cup but Molsey trying not to let them slip away here and uh, we can see that Oli Salona in the stroke seat joined by his housemate in the bow seat George Stewart these guys live together they work together at, uh, at Whitgift School and uh, row together as well here in this crew well you know that's very beneficial because there you, you have someone that you can pin, depend on someone you know and that's really that's really helpful when you're in the middle of a tough race like this yeah, tough race it is indeed because they've got to try and move back through if they have any hope of trying to challenge Oxford Brooks in this visitors' challenge car, and uh, they still move past with. Well, what would you say that is a kill? Maybe uh, a length and three quarters, a couple of lengths over Molsey now. Yeah, I would agree with that. About a length and three quarters. They're really going to have to do something soon. You don't want to leave it for too long here. You look at those blades going in right there. Those uh, those Oxford Brooks Brooks blades. They're going in together. Just nice vertical, nice backsplash. Just really effective run. That is some beautiful blade work there from Oxford Brooks University, and they look so level. You know, the boat's like a table, which in these, you know, again, these Coxless crews, um, it can be really difficult to set them up um, to sit really well on the, the bumpy, you know, bubbly water, and they just look really um, smart in this unit as they come into sight of Remenham Club. Yeah, and you know, this is an important thing here. It looks like Oxford Brooks has really taken control of this race and that they are saying, we're just gonna get out and keep moving. And it's really, this is some impressive rowing right here. You can see the power in each stroke. I love the sound of the oars as they come through. You know, this is a part of the race. They, they're just out there and they look like they're just having a good time. 
Yeah, they will really enjoy this. They will want to be yet another Oxford Brooks University crew to make their marker here at this regatta. The crews in the ladies' place, the crews in the temple, the crews in the island, all uh, through to the final, uh, I think. Uh, and, uh, you know, they will want to join them uh, in attempting to get their hands on that elusive red box. Multi Boat Club still trying to keep in contention. Um, I, I think that this crew, from what I'm aware, four bow siders when they came to, to row in this boat and they were taught how to row stroke siders, the ones that have put their hand up here. Uh, coached, as I've already mentioned, by Franz Infeld and uh, done a pretty good job to get them here to this semi-final of the visitors. Yeah, that's a tough thing to do, switch sides. Uh, and so these guys are learning how to row on the other side. And now they have been put to the test by, the, you know, this Oxford Brooks crew. And, you know, right here you can see that the, you had a nice shot of the, uh, of the, of the bow side, uh, George Stewart, uh, in that Mulsey boat. But now we've gone to, we, yes, there he is there, uh, you know. And as you mentioned, he's rowing with his housemate, uh, Jonathan Cameron. Uh, as well. Oh, sorry, Ali, Ali, Ali Solana as well. Yeah, and there is a shot of Ali Solana closest to us, stroking this Molsey Boat Club. Coxless 4, this is an intermediate event, so it's kind of uh, one down from the elite events here. And Oxford Brooks, well, a little glance over there, the bow seat, Toby Lassen, the uh, criminologist, is that the word? He's studying criminology at uh, university. And actually, a, 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 an alumni of um, Great Marlow School, who we saw win their first ever Henley Royal Regatta race earlier this year. The same alumni, uh, same school that Sir Steve Redgrave went to. So a really proud moment here for Toby Lassen in the bow seat. Indeed, and as you mentioned, there's a number of Oxford Brooks crews that are moving to the final. So it's sort of a thing now where you don't want to be the crew that didn't make it. And I think that uh, with relative ease, it will be Oxford Brooks University that uh, want to put four more athletes, four more names into the books for Sunday, into the program. They want to be written in in this Visitors Challenge Cup. And uh, they've stopped rowing before the line, even they were that comfortable. That was very, um, very brave, very swish. But Mozzie Boat Club, uh, it was not to be for them today here in this Visitors Challenge Cup event. And uh, the cheers go they, uh, in this uh, semi-final of the Visitors Challenge Cup.